Parenti. Much the smaller. But he's one of the wrestlers I like to refer to as the Gary player of wrestling. He's small, but he packs a lot of dynamite, and he certainly knows how to come up with the moves and the winning combinations. There's a rollover, a front, front face drag, and a rollover by Cholak. There's a dive by Parenti, and we have a lot of good mat action here. A lot to start this match off. To an arm bar. And with a smaller man, the next move would be a step over. But Cholak makes the first quick step. And Parenti, underneath now, will have to find the way out. The splits. As Cholak has taken this toehold and really applied the leverage. Connie Marker, the referee. Command of that break for pulling the trunks. Here's a push off. Meets him right at center ring, and Parenti, who had already geared himself to fly to the ropes, suddenly found that Cholak was not off his feet. Here we go again. There's a drop kick that backs him against the ropes. So what Parenti finds does not succeed the first time. He tries the second time with a slight variation in the drop kick. Cholak is exceptionally fast. Rolling under, diving for the legs. One of the reasons why he was an All-American in college. And another reason why he was not liked too well. Much similar to the actions of Bruiser when he wrestled, or when he played football. He didn't care whether it was legal or not as long as he didn't get caught. Exchange of forearms right there in the center of the ring, and off again goes Parenti to the ropes. Has backed Cholak up slightly, but he responds quickly and comes up into the wrestling hold. Toe to the midsection. And another drag. Cholak holding the left arm of Parenti out to the side. He has the fingers extended, has not made a move to that hand as yet. As Connie watches all the action. There's a couple of good solid stomps right into the wrist. And again, it's legal. It's using the flat of the extremity, the flat of the hand, the flat of the foot is little boy, listen, talk about a ring giving. It sure gives when 330 goes down on it like that. And the shoulders down for a count of one. As Parenti, with the leg lock, goes to work on the big beat. Cholak wrestles in golden boots. A sort of golden wrestling combination. Black trunks, gold vest, and gold tights. And has made quite a bit of money off the identification as the golden moose. A bear hug on Peretti. As he puts Tony back into the ropes right in front of us and then uncorks a solid right to the stomach. Parenti fights off the rope. Meets him at center ring with a knee lift. And to the neutral corner. Marker allows him back to his feet. Connie's not too big. And if he doesn't stay out of the way, he could get in a lot of trouble in that ring. Into an arm bar. 
as the moose shows some good wrestling tactics and knowledge. Arm bar and wrist lock. There's a chop off the ropes by Parenti. Another forearm smash puts the moose down on his knees. Parenti moving in. There's a pretty good indication of how big that guy is. Well, oh, he's a monster. Head first. Your big wrestlers of today, big not only in stature, but big in name, use their feet a great deal. There's a judo chop by Cholak as this match, which many thought would not last this long, has stayed on a pretty even keel so far. Armbar by Perenni, and he takes him down with it. Perenni really twisting it back. And again. Cholak back to his feet. Face first into that top rope. Takes him out again as Perenni goes out of the ropes, this time right past us, and is laying off the apron. There's the big one from Moosehead, Maine. And now you can see how much he overshadows the size of the referee. Down again goes Perenni, and... Marker really walks him back. He says, you let him in the ring or I'm going to count you out. Count has reached six, seven. Only two, seven as Parenti tries to bull his way back in with a tackle, makes it, steps through the ropes. And now Cholak wants to think it over. Quick lightning jabs there by Cholak. Ducking under with a real fine move. Parenti comes up, pops a couple of good rights to the top of the head. And remember now, Cholak wearing these ear guards. And Parenti is slapping that right hand in there about as solid as any I've ever seen. Ooh, into the knee. And speaking of the ear guard, he used it there. The big splash and down he goes. 